My name's Liz Hewer. The girls are just about to start the Georgian Gallop, which we do on St George's Day every year. But I'm going to show you around to the school. Welcome to St George's. <laughs> St George's is a school of around 270 girls aged 11 to 18. We have a mixture of day girls and boarders from countries across the world. I love the fact here that my study is right in the heart of the school here on our south lawn, which is what I'm standing on. We've got many of the parts of the school that we're going to be showing you on the tour today that I can see from here. The library and our science block, our boarding house natural we're visiting later on and behind me down to our sports pitches and we're going to start off by going to our swimming pool so do come along. We're here in our fantastic swimming pool, one of the many wonderful facilities that St George's girls get to enjoy and of course facilities do give them wonderful opportunities. This might be those who are particularly strong in swimming, our performance swimmers, lots of invitational galas and busy swim squads happening as well, but also participation, well-being, keeping fit. The boarders have lots of fun in here as well, and indeed I was here swimming myself on Sunday morning. We also share this facility with our local community, um, and probably the noisiest event of the year is our house swimming gala, which we hold once a year. Welcome to our first lesson. The girls at St George's have the opportunity to study a wide range of subjects across the arts, creative arts, sciences and social sciences. We're here in a biology lesson with the lower sixth, they're doing a practical. Sciences and technology are hugely important for our girls and indeed, of course, for their futures. And from our 23 subjects, the girls have the opportunity to choose at A-level. Sciences are amongst our most popular. Girls also go off to study at university, subjects ranging from medicine, biological sciences, architecture and engineering. Having passed computer science and our food tech room, I'm now in the art department, a thriving part of the school. The girls get the opportunity to work with an enormous range of media. Their carousel in Key Stage 3 gives them a fantastic foundation. Girls can choose fine art or textiles at GCSE, fine art, textiles or photography at A-level, which gives them the platform to go on, as many of them do, to fantastic careers within the creative arts. Food is a really important part of life at St George's. Uh, for the girls, they enjoy this wonderful, vibrant, nutritious, varied range of food for breakfast, for lunch and for supper, and also for the staff, and it's a real benefit of working at the school. I talk to the girls a lot about their well-being, making sure they have a balanced and nutritious diet, they get lots of fresh air and exercise, and also that they get a lot of sleep too. We are here in our beautiful library. It's a lovely, airy space that the girls enjoy using very much at the centre of the school. They love uh, reading on the beanbags, working independently, and also we have uh, a class of girls in here at the moment. It really exemplifies that important balance between traditional books, of which there are many in here, and our exciting use at St George's of educational technology. We are very much breaking ground in terms of digital literacy of the girls and an exciting journey in learning innovation. What goes on outside the classroom is really important at St George's. The girls have the opportunity to do a wide range of co-curricular activities across all areas of school life as well as our new music technology room. We're really excited with the opening of our new dance studio. So do come and have a look. Dance is a very popular activity at St George's. Over 70 girls take lessons and we have a dance and jazz show next week, which we're really excited about. It's a really good example of the way in which the girls generate really positive and meaningful relationships across the year groups, authentic ways in which they interact with each other through that busy co-curricular programme, which is something really quite special to St George's.
We're here in our theatre, a great space at St George's that's used by lots of different girls as they grow in confidence through their journey with us. Uh, it might be all of our youngest girls singing in the Year 7 choir. We had open mic night last night and behind me GCSE drama rehearsals going on at the moment. As we move towards the end of our tour of St George's, we are back here on the South Lawn in the heart of the school. And as the day draws to a close for most of the girls at school after clubs and after their prep, the day pupils will go home, the boarders will go back to their boarding houses, and we're going to go now and see what some of the boarders are up to. Boarding is an incredibly important part of St George's. We have a busy and lively boarding community with full boarders, weekly boarders, flexi boarders, and it's increasingly popular that girls board as they move up through the school. The girls get their work done, they get some exercise, but most importantly, what they love is being with each other, being a part of that strong boarding house community, spending time with the staff, with their friends, with girls in other year groups as well. And that's something really special to them and they hugely value. So on that note, I'm going to go and catch up with the girls. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the school. We hope you're able to come and visit us soon. Thank you.